You know those people on Facebook that you don't even know but try to add you? Well, let's just say I'm one of those people. It all started about a year ago, I would say. I can't really remember since a lot of things have happened since then. Let's just start at the beginning. I never really had any intention to join Facebook. I was a first class loner and I seldom had any friends at all. I didn't want to humiliate myself by letting the whole world know how much of a loser I was. But after hearing everyone talking about it, not to me of course, but rather around me, just loud enough for me to be able to hear. I hated how no one ever talked to me. It was like I didn't even exist or something. Like my very existence meant nothing to those fuckers. Anywho, I was tired of being a complete outcast, so I decided to create my very own Facebook. It was scary at first. And, you know, letting the entire world know what I was doing. I was basically giving up my privacy and my freedom to try to fit in. The irony of the whole thing was that I was afraid of letting stalkers and serial killers know what I was up to. But I'll get to why that statement turned out ironic later. Anyways. At first, Facebook seemed very foreign to me. I had zero messages, zero notifications, and zero friend invites. It was just like the real world, only this time the whole world could see it. But regardless, I worked up the courage and started exploring the site. I still remember the first thing I did when I started using it. I remember it so clearly. That game about the fishes, you know? You know, you know that game, right? That game was my favorite. I used to spend hours on it. I, I could buy countless fishes, not feed them, and then watch them die. Watching the fish die was so much fun. I would have probably stayed there forever, if not for that friend request. I can believe it. Somebody wanted to be my friend. I eagerly clicked to accept was the best feeling I could ever describe. So, here's where my story begins. After I click on his profile, I saw what Facebook was really all about. He had countless statuses, all with at least five likes each. I so wanted that. So I began to snoop in his friends list. I added every single person that he was friends with. It took about five hours to do it, but it was worth it. Before long, my page had grown from one friend to nearly twelve. And of those friends who accepted, I knew absolutely nothing about them. But, because I was friends with them on Facebook, I learned everything. I passed the first two weeks, adding all the people who my friends knew. And once they became my friends, I added everyone that they knew. Yes, my popularity was growing. People finally began to know who I was. It was all so wonderful. The kids at my school even started talking to me. It was just insane. Just fucking insane. I began to fall in love with Facebook. Addicted, if you will. I hated not being on it, and the thought of not knowing what everyone else was doing or what they were thinking was overwhelming. I hated it. The fucking school hours seemed like spending an eternity in hell. But I spent every single moment that I had free on that site. I began dreaming about using it, and soon enough, I stopped dreaming altogether. I developed insomnia, which was great for me, because now I could spend every single moment of my life on Facebook. 
especially since the school year had just ended. It was sweet to be able to spend every single waking moment of my life on Facebook. But spending so much time on it allowed me also to see the dark side of Facebook. There were people on there that when I sent my friend request, I had sent tens of thousands, and yet still I had only around 2,000 friends. It was obvious that those people had something against me. Why else would they not want to be friends with me? Yeah, why else? There had to be a solution of all this madness. It was obvious. Yes. It was all so clear now. All I had to do was get rid of him. I still remember my first victim. So innocent. Truly, I had nothing against her. She was so young. So beautiful. I still remember those eyes, those piercing black eyes. The thing I remember most about her though, was how much she bled, and how much she screamed. It was a different feeling that I felt than killing. That girl and I relive it every time I choose a new victim. Come to think of it, I just sent you a friend request. I'd think twice about denying it if I were you.